Hello YouTube. Saint Bob here of Saint Bob's YouTube channel. Well, hasn't it been a while? Um, I'm afraid to say it has. It has absolutely been um, quite a while since I last put a video out, and uh, a lot of that has been due to to a couple of a couple of things really. One, I have been absolutely crazy busy, and two, I've actually been waiting to upgrade my PC. Now I'm able to do so, and hopefully some of you will appreciate the fact that I'm now able to actually put out full 1080p uh, videos which uh, is a massive step forward uh, and uh, hopefully you, you are actually going to enjoy uh, the higher quality videos which uh, is going to be awesome um, so now I've got the the apologies out of the way I just wanted to to really have a catch up really and just kind of put out exactly what's happened over the past uh, couple of months with uh, with the Zion and uh, my god there's been quite a lot of changes I have to admit um, from the offset, it doesn't look like there's much that's changed, um, but behind the scenes and with some slight added features, there are actually quite a lot of things that have changed. Um, and straight away off the bat, this is nothing to do with the development of the game, but you can see that since our last video, we've kind of been encased by a forest, um, which I'm going to have to take care of, because there is a lot there. So I don't think I'm going to run out of wood anytime soon because I'm going to be able to chop these trees down. Um, and um, I'll have to have a, a giant bonfire, I think. Uh, I'm actually going to take off my... Uh, let's have a look. So take off that. Actually, I don't need to put it in there. Put it there. And I'm actually going to chop this tree down while I'm talking to you. So... Pretty much then, um, a, lot has, a lot has changed. Um, over the past few months we've had huge, huge improvements to uh, the performance of the game in terms of um, like loading screens, um, how well the game runs, um, bug fixes to catch crashes, things like that. Um, a lot of that has helped a lot of people to actually play the game, um, which is fantastic. There's gone are the days where we had like 5 to 10 minute loading times. Um, and we're now able to to load into the game. I think let me just have a look. If we go up here, it took me 48 seconds to load into the game, um, which is great. I believe I have, I have actually put this into a video before anyway. Um, but a lot more uh, improvements have been added to that. Um, so it it has absolutely made it so that the the loading screens aren't around as much and the general performance I'm getting a lot more FPS now um, than I was able to before which is fantastic uh, even with a forest like this uh, and as people who play Zion know that you know if there's a forest of trees like this you do take a, a bit of a knock to your FPS because there's so many moving parts um, especially when it's very windy like it is now so it's fantastic um, there's been some recent changes there's been some stat changes. There's now um, there's now caps on um, your stats and your skills, so you can actually max out only a few, um, and you'll actually decay uh, a few of your stats or skills. Uh, usually, it's actually the ones that you use the, the least, um, and you can gain them a little, uh, much much easier now. I'm not going to go into the, into the specifics because if I did, then it would just be a a video just on numbers um, and the and discussing the caps and such. So if you want to know more about the caps, uh, the skill caps, take a look at the patch notes. I'll put that into uh, a link in the description. And um, one thing I'm really excited to actually show you guys uh, once I've done a little bit of pruning this uh, this tree back um, so it makes way for this road. Um, one thing I wanted to show you, and I, and I waited purposely for, for winter, because one thing that's, that's, that's been added is, probably a lot of you know, Revenants. Um, pretty much Zion's version of zombies, and they are terrifying. They are hard as nails, they really hurt, and they're really tough. They hunt in packs most of the time. Um, and uh, you know between like one to, to five revenants um, sometimes if you're really unlucky and there's a few totems that are around um, you'll run into quite a few 
um, and they are quite um, quite tough. But what I wanted to show you is I actually wanted to show you uh, what they look like, kind of what the combat's like with them. Um, I'm not the best combat person, so maybe I'm not the best person to show this. But you know, it's and there's one over there. Look right now, trying to get through. Um, so there's a couple of good things about these revenants. One is that when there's an inactive tribe like this one here, there's a there's a there's a totem just behind that building there, um, and they are actually uh, inactive as far as I know. Uh, we will double check. Now what that means is is when it's inactive, um, the totem. Oh wait a minute. Uh, look lively. They do hurt like hell. So we might have a bit of. Now, we've got to be really careful here because because if I die, this revenant here will actually become much tougher, and he will actually loot my items off me. And I don't know if he'll loot all of them or whether it's just a a couple. Um, a couple of items or just some particular items that he'll loot uh, but nevertheless if he manages to kill you um, there are female revenants in here as well I'm sure we'll probably come across them they will loot your body and they will actually uh, get a bit tougher just notice I'm not at any sound at all so I bet it sounds really horrible um, so let me there we go let me pop the music on now a little bit um, so let's uh let's loot him and now we can actually take his items his zombie items which is pretty snazzy don't know why I did that Just open that up um, so we have a filth weave shirt sweet we've got a dismay helm nice dismay gloves a hayburn pants uh, what else do we have here trucky spolders nice Dismay braces, uh, Dismay loincloth, uh, that was greaves, and oh, a saw axe as well. Sweet, which has a, a damage bonus of plus 2.49, which is quite cool. It's not a bad bad kill at all. That's well, alright, that. So, as I was saying, um, totems. The, the totems now decay and they'll decay when the the members of the tribe become inactive and I'm just gonna go around to the totem on the other side of this building now and I'll actually show you what I mean by that around here, there it is right okay so this is homestead, uh, homestead abandoned 562 days uh, so this is in-game days obviously um, and there's four stages of of totem DK and the first one is a stage of neglect it's called uh, neglected um, basically that's like the the, the first warning um, of well it's basically the first warning that you're gonna get that if you don't act soon um, then your totem is gonna start to decay um, and that um, and that things are gonna become open for other players so what do I mean by that well after so many in-game days have passed, you'll go from neglected to deserted. Uh, when it's deserted, the bins and the bundles of junk that are left around inside the tribe area will become available for picking. So players can come and ransack your village, uh, your, your homestead, your clan, whatever size tribe you've got. And so all those hours that you've spent trying to get uh, get some really cool items, they're now open to, to be to being looted. Which is really really cool. Um, you know, it's an incentive to, to obviously keep playing and, and trying to defend uh, your village and, and clan, uh, homestead, whatever. Um, and it will no longer be a safe zone. So what does that mean? Well, it means that obviously you used to be free uh, from PvP whilst you were inside. You could attack people that was inside your your tribe area if they weren't in your tribe, but um, they couldn't attack you. It didn't do any damage. But now, obviously, once that's the um, once you've got to the deserted stage, that disappears, and you are able to actually do, uh, to, you know, take damage. 
So um, amongst those two two um, quite defining features of, of, of the deserted stage, you've got the added bonus of having revenants spawn. Um, now they will spawn. That they 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 spawn quite soon. And they do spawn in packs between one to five revenants, depending on the size. And I'm not sure if they'll go actually actually go higher than five. Um, I believe they will, depending on how how big your tribe area is and how many members you've got inside there. Um, but but absolutely, they 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 hurt like hell. And as soon as you your your tribe becomes active again, revenants will still be there, and you will need to clear them out. Um, and you, you'll need to move them on, you'll need to kill them. Um, once you've killed them, they won't come back, they won't spawn back, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, if you don't if you don't kill them, uh, or you don't come back, then, then your homestead is going to get overrun by revenants. So, the next stage is Abandoned, which as you can see, which is what um, this tribe Alicia, or yeah, uh, Al yeah, Alicia? Say Alicia, Alicia Homestead is actually at it's abandoned 562 days so that basically means um, that it's on the verge of a complete removal containers can be taken um, buildings will be accessible and revenants will spawn um, I don't think you're able to dismantle at this point uh, as, a, as a member of the public as a member of the outsider of the tribe but you can absolutely pick up things um, that don't belong to you that are in this tribe I don't think I can actually take these um, and there we go. Um, yeah. So let's just let's test let's test that theory out, shall we? Let's just test it out. Let's go into uh, into here. I've got a bundle of trees that obviously wasn't picked by me. Um, pick it up. So look. There we go. All right. You can't actually you can't you can't take the bundles. Um, but you can actually open and take the containers. Can I take the container? No, you can't take the container just yet. So that must be, yeah, okay. So you must need to wait then for the completely removed um, status. So, but you can take things out of them, which is, which is quite sweet. So then, the last stage of decay then is the complete removal of the tribe totem, which means the land can be uh, can be actually be claimed by other by other members of, of the community. They can come by and drop a totem and take over the place. Um, you can then dismantle uh, buildings and start terraforming the land, and which I'm hoping soon that I'm going to be able to do so, so I can actually expand our tribe a bit more. But I think I need to get rid of all these trees first. I think that's a bit uh, a bit important. So um, I'm going to look around actually for some more revenants. I figured uh, that's probably what most people are really interested in in actually seeing these revenants up close and personal. Um, let's go over to the pandemic tribe and let's take a look and see what's over there. Let's see. So I'm I'm really enjoying it at the moment. I I think that revenants have absolutely added a a massive risk factor to the game. It is don't get me wrong for a new player, for a brand new player coming to, coming into Zion for the first time, it's very daunting and it is extremely hard. Um, which is fantastic. I really love the fact that it's hard. Um, I recently started playing again on another alt, um, straight from scratch, just just fresh, nothing to do with Satan Bob whatsoever, completely fresh, um, and and yeah, I died a couple of times, but once I'd kind of figured out and worked out exactly, um, exactly kind of how how the revenants worked, I managed to sneak on by, I managed to to kind of kind of survive really. Which is which is the whole point, uh, I believe. It's just I managed to work out how to survive, which is which is fantastic. Oh, there is a revenant there. I'm actually going to wait here and get my energy up, um, and then we'll go and we'll see what what we can do. It looks like he's got a cool hat on as well, which is sweet. So 
Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it is a lot harder now, and I think that's great because it adds a lot of risk factor. Oh, it adds, it adds a lot of a risk to the to the game, which I think is it's needed, I think, because it was getting to the point where nothing really kind of, kind of did all that much, much to you that you had to really, wow, that you had to really worry about. Uh, I'm probably going to lose this. I don't know, shall I die? Shall I die and just see what happens? See what this guy actually does? Because it's only around the corner from, from my tribe. So let's let's test it. Um, so yeah, I absolutely think that adding the, the revenants has, has put a lot of excitement to the game. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. It means that you can't just simply... You can't simply just... Um, run around willy-nilly and not take note of your surroundings. Um, I'm going to follow this guy because it's going to it's going to heal up. But how you see, look, it's actually taken it's taken my chest armor and it's taken my helmet, um, which is awesome. I don't know if you can actually hear him, but he is actually making some some cool noises. I just turn the sounds up. He hasn't got it. Why did he not steal my pants? Honestly, what the hell? He stole my boots, he stole my helmet, and he stole and he stole my chest piece, but he didn't steal my pants. He stole the loincloth, but I think he had that anyway. But he didn't steal the pants to cover his huge sack. What the hell? Why would he do such a thing? Are you not cold, friend? Hello? You not cold? So... Uh, I'll pause the video here as I teleport back to my totem and I'm going to come back and I'm actually going to see if I can um, kill this guy. Uh, bear in mind he's going to be a lot tougher now. So I'll be back in a second once the uh, loading is completed. Alright so I'm back and as you can see I'm uh, I'm topless. But I must say I have quite a good body. I'm grey but I have quite a cool body. So I'm happy. I'm 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 fine with not having a shirt on. In the winter, weather can't touch me. So we go. Let's have a look. Right. Okay. So we're gonna go back. I only took my boots as well. God damn it. Right. We'll head back to to pandemic. We'll see if we can find this uh, this jerk who uh, who beat me up and stole my dinner money and took my boots and. Decided to leave my pants behind. I guess he had some sort of humanity. He didn't want to uh, to show me up all that much. So now we've got to try and figure out where this guy is. Um, oh, he's over there, look. Is that him? That is him. He's there, look. What's his health like? Oh, no. Are you ready? Oh. Yeah, I'm like a boss. I'm a boss. I'll have that back, thank you very much, sir. I'll have my helmet back. Oh, I need to actually put it in there, I think. I shall take my helmet. I shall take my shirt. I shall also take my uh, my vest. Oh, he took my braces as well. Um... I'll take the loincloth as well. I think I can actually wear the loincloth above all this. Alright, so I'll put them on. How dare he have stolen everything. No! 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 I'm gonna die quick! Equipped everything! Ah! Ah! What the hell is she wearing? What the hell is that? That is some scary crap. Uh oh. I need to get out of here. Help me! She's carrying a fishing rod. What the hell? It's actually a woman. Yeah, it is. It's a woman with some sort of skull on her head. Carrying a fishing rod. Ah! Okay, cool. I think we're safe. I think we're safe. He obviously didn't like me uh, beating on her boyfriend, I guess. Yeah, she's running back now. She's chased me off. That's fine. 
Right, okay, let's have a look at what else we've got in here then. So, um, loincloth. Can we wear that? Oh, we can, but we already had that on the Rubicon. Oh, yeah, we need that. Okay. Um, should we have a look at actually at what this. Um, let's see what that dead body had on him. And then let's see what this stuff actually looks like, shall we? Because um, that'd be quite interesting. So right now, I think I think it's a very interesting game right now. I think there's a lot that's that's really about to take off with Zion at the moment. I think there's a lot of stuff that that's changed. That is, uh, it's really added a lot of excitement to the game. It's added a lot of um, just a, a lot, just a lot of risk as well. And I don't know about you, but I really like risk, especially in a, a game such as uh, you know, like a hardcore. Uh, a hardcore game. It's, it's. I, I really like it, and it's. Um, well, this guy was carrying an axe. He was carrying a. Okay, in that case. It really shouldn't be overlooked. Um, it's definitely if if you are somebody who, um, who has not subbed in a while. It's definitely worth a, a, another look. Um, you know, the, the 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 development team are still going on, which is fantastic. I, the, I mean, it's taken them a while, um, but they're still going at it, and they haven't stopped yet. And I, they don't show any signs of stopping at all, which is which is great. Uh, it just shows some really really good dedication uh, to to Zion. Um, and you know, there are some games coming out there that that are quite similar and I still think that this has more potential than most um, to actually really you know, pave the way really for this kind of genre because um, the, the, currently there is no game like it the closest game you could get to this right now that's currently out live and in a full working state um, is is Minecraft really um, you know and, and that isn't mass multiplayer where you know where 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 is this is and if you're looking for a mass multiplayer version of of I wouldn't say Minecraft but uh, you know a mass multiplayer version of a sandbox game that you can actually build change the world and physically alter it i.e. you can physically shift dirt around make dirt sand castles kind of like what I've done uh, and my tribe has done and then build around it build upon it expand upon it and really really forge an empire um, and actually feel like you've changed something um, then this is absolutely the game for you and I, I think now is the time really if anything to check this out and, and really come take a look because it's it's on its way up it's on its way up it's not going down it's not going anywhere I don't think um, you know and the development team have absolutely shown that so before we leave uh, I'm going to pop all this this stuff on um, so you guys can kind of see uh, what it looks like um, because I think it looks pretty cool the zombie stuff there are a lot more um, zombie kind of stuff here um, that we haven't seen that you can get off other, other ones um, that I think let's just take those off that I think you'll probably really like uh, take the shoulder pads off. There we go. Did I? I did pick up some trousers. I thought I did. Where are they? Let's take these off. There we go. So this is like the basic version of. Um, uh, let's have a look. This is like the basic version of a zombie. Uh, of a zombie armor set. Not even a full set really. Um, and there's masks. There's um, helms, there's all sorts of stuff that, that obviously you've not seen yet um, but absolutely come check it out uh, and you can look as uh, as cool as me with my little woolly hat on and uh, my blood smeared shirt I think uh, I think it's definitely worth a look and if you guys if you want to stop by um, PM me on the forums or PM me on YouTube um, it's just Saint Bob on, on the forums and in game obviously it's just Saint Bob um, and just please for the love of God if you if you come 
please bring an axe and help me clear this forest because I am going to be here for years. I am literally going to be here for years and I know that clearing these logs is probably um, one of the one of the jobs that uh, the rest of the clan, the rest of the tribe um, have left for their tribe leader to do. Um, so if anybody wants to lend a hand, please do and I'll reward you handsomely, I promise. Alright guys, thanks very much for, for stopping by and having a look. Uh, again, apologies for for the lengthy uh, for the lengthy time between the videos. Um, I'm going to pick it up again. Uh, you're going to see more regular videos. Uh, you're going to see a, a lot of Zion content in the in the in the near future, starting off right away. Um, and you're absolutely going to see me play some other games. If you want to see some other games, uh, you want some any suggestions, you want to you want to suggest anything to me. Um, I've been playing Daisy. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Daisy, but I can play some of that. I can record some of that. Um, I've got quite a few other games that I can play. Um, Minecraft, I can play some Minecraft if you like. Anything you want to see um, that I currently own, um, or oh, that's not too expensive, I will absolutely give it a go. Um, please like, please subscribe, and um, it really helps me out. And guys, thanks very much. See you next time.